Hello, everybody. Okay, I was just checking to see if I'm live. Looks like I am. Um, I'm going to wait a few minutes to see if some people start coming in and watching. And we actually still have some patients here at the office who are getting adjusted. So Dr. Robin will be joining me once they are done. Again, I am just hanging out here until um, Dr. Robin's able to come join me. She's finishing up with the patient, and I can't really tell if anyone's in here or not. So I'm either talking to no one or someone. I think no one's in here since it doesn't say a number anywhere. So if someone is in here, if you could go ahead and comment. I would definitely answer my question to see to know if I should be seeing a number or not. Okay, so now before I didn't see any numbers of anyone watching me, and now I see one, so now I know that someone is watching. So hello. Um, we're going to be talking about chiropractic tonight, and I'm just waiting for Dr. Robin to come in and join me. Oh, we've got a second person in here. Um, if you guys want, go ahead and comment, say hi so we can see who you are, and um, if you have any questions or anything about chiropractic before we get started, uh, I'd be happy to answer to the best of my ability. Or if you just want to tell me how your week's been going and how quarantine's going for you, that would be completely fine too. Hello, one person, whoever you are. I'm going to wait till to see if a couple other people come in the room and uh, we'll go ahead and get started if there be maybe like th at least three to five people watching the class. And I'm just waiting for my partner, Dr. Robin, to come into the room. She's finishing up with a patient and then um, we'll be able to get started talking about how awesome chiropractic is. Linda Ponica is watching. Hello, mother. I'm just waiting here um, until Dr. Robin finishes up with one more patient and she's going to be adjusting them and then she'll be coming in here and we'll be able to get started talking about 
um, chiropractic and how everything is connected. And yeah. So yeah, just waiting. I've had a couple people come and go out of the room. I think I'm being boring so far. But Dr. Robin will be in soon. Hello, Mother. I'm very tired, ready to come home for dinner. I'll be right back. Hello, whoever else came in, we're just waiting on Dr. Robin to be done with her last patient. And then we're gonna get started on the Facebook Live class tonight, which is all about chiropractic, very exciting. All right, I will actually go ahead and get started. I don't wanna chase anyone off because I'm just sitting here waiting. Um, but so if anyone doesn't know me, my name is Sarah Ponica and I am getting ready to graduate from chiropractic school and I'm doing my final rotation here at Get Well Family Chiropractic in Florissant, Missouri. And I am working under Dr. Robin Lawrence She's gonna be joining me for this as well. She's just in the other room finishing up with our last patient of the day. Um, but today we're gonna to be talking about chiropractic and I'm very excited for anyone who's here tonight and um, maybe wants to improve their health or doesn't know a lot about chiropractic and wants to just get to know more about it or maybe just wants to support me doing this class tonight. <laughs> So we have a lot that we're gonna talk about tonight. So we're just gonna get right down to it. Um, so the main goal that we have is to, today, is to bridge the gap between traditional healthcare and chiropractic care. Um, so we're gonna start by briefly talking about a little history of chiropractic care. So, um, spinal manipulative therapy or chiropractic adjustments um, actually have a very long history. In around 400 BC, Hippocrates, the father of Greek medicine, used manual treatments to treat spinal conditions. Um, and then Buddhist temples dating back over 2000 years have depictions in them of lumbar spine manipulation, which is just crazy. And then also um, people called bone setters were tradesmen and women who learned the craft of spinal manipulation. And um, that started out in the 16th century in Europe. But today's chiropractic practices as you know them are attributed to Daniel David Palmer or D.D. Palmer and um, he was a man who lived in Iowa and he actually adjusted the spine of a deaf janitor and he claimed to restore that janitor's hearing back in 1895. 
And that's pretty much when chiropractic as we know it today began. And if anybody has any questions along the way, please feel free to ask them. Um, I know in our last two classes, there's been a bit of a lag. So if you do have to ask a question, it will probably be like a couple minutes behind that we answer it. And here's Dr. Robin. Hello! She has made it. Yay! Sorry for being late, guys. I had to finish up with patients. Yep. So, so far... Who's watching? I hey, Linda! My mom is or was. Okay. Um, we had a couple people come and go okay. when I was first just kind of waiting around Good. um but so far we've introduced and just talked about the history of oh, chiropractic great which i think is really cool stuff we had a whole class just on the history mm -hmm. of chiropractic at chiropractic school and that stuff is so interesting and there's so much more to it than that you mm -hmm. know there's so much it's so deep and rich um and really cool yeah yeah uh, so do you need a chiropractor, right? Um, that is really one of the most common questions that, uh, that we get. And really the answer kind of depends on, you know, what are your healthcare goals? You know, what do you want from your vitality and your life and your health? And, you know, 85% of adults will experience back pain at some point in their lifetime. And, and quite honestly, that's the most common reason that people show up in our office. You know, sports injuries, overuse injuries, even auto accidents are really some common reasons why people seek us out. But really, the true depth of chiropractic care is really seen in the other systems of the body, right? You know, how your body functions um, properly or improperly really can be connected to the function of the nervous system. And, you know, that's our main focus. Yeah. So, you know, and we're going to really touch on some of those different systems and how chiropractic can help people raise their level of health um, as we go through the presentation tonight. Absolutely. Yeah. And I can attest being here for the last few months that we definitely dive deep into a lot of like all the different systems of the body and not yeah. just focusing on, you know, muscles and bones and joints. Yeah, and we had like a new patient yesterday that really um, came in with some severe neck pain, but really boiled down to, you know, some issues in her spleen and some issues in her liver mm -hmm. and the lymphatic system being all um, congested. Yeah. It's crazy. It's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Love it. Love it. Okay. So a lot of patients will wait until they have pain before they come to seek care at a chiropractor or, you know, even at maybe their regular, their primary care physician. Hi, Ellen. Hi, Ellen. Love you. Um, but uh, figuring out the current health of your spine and your whole body is a really important part of preventative care. Um, so it's really common for people to sustain an injury or misalignment during childhood and not experience any symptoms until like years later. Yeah, think about all those kids that fall out of trees and off their bicycles mm -hmm. and you know, the monkey bars. Yeah, and they never know that something might just mm -hmm. be a little bit out of whack. Yeah. <laughs> so this is why we really urge all patients and all people out there to come in for a postural and a spinal alignment assessment mm -hmm. before they start feeling the pain. Yeah, you know, the question I often ask people is, you know, which comes first, the problem? Or the pain, mm -hmm. right? It's a lot like your car, right? You get an oil leak, right? Well, which happened first, the oil leak or the light on your dashboard? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so yeah, and even just many years of having poor posture at work, at school, um, playing video games, what have you, <laughs> um, <laughs> even that can just can be to blame for our um, misalignments in our spine mm -hmm. and you don't have to have had like some big trauma some big injury right. for these misalignments to occur yeah no not at all oh so why does chiropractic care work dr sarah hmm so you know there's really a lot of many techniques that chiropractors utilize um and however though you know the goal really remains the same it's to deliver adjustments to the spine and other parts of the body to correct those misalignments, right? And in that correction of the misalignments, then people experience, you know, relief from pain, mm -hmm. right? They improve their function, um, they support their body's natural ability to heal itself. In fact, earlier today, I was complaining about my vision, right? I read, I wear cheaters 
And sometimes my cheaters weren't even working, but Dr. Danielle came in and adjusted me today. And now my vision is better. So just, mm -hmm. you know, getting those misalignments realigned, that sounded kind of funny, misalignments realigned, just really makes the body function a whole lot better. You know, your nervous system is so closely linked to every body function. In fact, it controls and coordinates everything that happens in your body. And when those misalignments are present, right, the nerve signals have trouble going back and forth between brain and the body, right? Mm -hmm. So an analogy that we like to use in chiropractic is the garden hose, right? So water flows freely when that garden hose is free from any kinks or any blockages. But, you know, put the, uh, put the kink in the garden hose, right? and the water's not coming out the end that it's supposed mm -hmm. to and then you know we deliver an adjustment and we unkink the hose and now you know things can flow again absolutely you know, chiropractic care is really it's a holistic and it's drug free we're non-invasive and we've been shown to assist the body in healing from dozens of different conditions right and once the adjustment is made the body then really heals itself right once we get the junk out of the way yep. with an adjustment the body really does the work on its own Yes, Ellen, it will definitely help your immunity. That's for sure. You know, there's been studies, we talked about this last week during the immune class, that there's studies that show that an adjustment will raise the level of your immune system by up to 200% for up to a week. Great question. Thank you. That's amazing. Um, so what are you going to expect when you come into the chiropractic office for the first time mm. and then more times after that? Um, so during your initial visit, when you first come in, um, chiropractors will usually take a health history and, um, and then also more of a focus history on if, you, if something is bringing you in, like yeah. anything that's pain or anything like that. And then we'll also perform a physical examination to help pinpoint more of what's going on with you. Um, but the real emphasis here is going to be the spine and the nerve system. Um, like here, for instance, um, we're in our exam room right, right now. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we have some really cool scans that we do here that um, test out how well your whole nervous system is working. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, we look at the, um, we do what's called a the thermal scan. And we look at skin temperature. Skin temperature is controlled by the same nerves that control all of the internal organs. Mm -hmm. uh, we look at how well the muscles are working through a surface electrical myography. And we really look at your stress level through what's called heart rate variability. Yeah. Right? We want to find out, you know, are you in fight or flight mode or are you in health healing and adaptability? Because you can't be in both at the same time. Yeah, those are really cool. And it's nice. those scans are nice, too, because we're able to get Vis like a visual representation mm -hmm. of kind of what's going on with those patients that they'll be able to see and understand right. and know like where they can improve from there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, some offices, some chiropractic offices also take x-rays on their new patients and that can give a picture mm -hmm. of your alignment and your spine and everything like that. Um, so once the exam is complete and we have a whole picture of what's going on in the body, we can make adjustments to help correct any misalignments. Um, so normally it's going to take several appointments mm -hmm. to rehabilitate the spine and the nerve system. Yeah. It's some people with their health may come into certain offices and think that, okay, I, I want my pain to be gone today. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They want one adjustment and their pain's gone. Well, unfortunately, it may have taken decades to get, to there. get to that point. Right. So, you know, while we love to be miracle workers for mm -hmm. our people, right, sometimes it's going to take a little more time yeah. than to others. undo it. To undo it. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah. And so some chiropractors also use other techniques um, on top of the adjustments to help uh, our patients. And this could include using heat and ice, um, using electrical stimulation on, on the muscles that are hurting, um, relaxation techniques, which is really big here, mm -hmm. uh, rehabilit rehabilitative and general exercise. Mm -hmm. um, so exercises and stretches and stuff that we will have patients do at home. Um, also, there can be counseling about diet, weight loss, and other lifestyle factors. And mm -hmm. then um, a lot of offices, including ours, yeah. sell uh, dietary dispense. supplements. Dispense. 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 <laughs> Nutritional supplements, yes. Absolutely. I love it. <laughs> um, so 
when you go see a chiropractor, you're building a partnership mm -hmm. with the chiropractor and the two of you together will determine what the best course of action is um, for your health concerns. Yes, absolutely. Mm. Yeah, so how is your posture, right? I'm, I'm looking at my posture right, right now, right? right? And I'm, I'm like leaning into the camera and I've got my legs crossed, right? In today's society, we spend so much time sitting. Um, you know, time at our desks or in our cars, on our sofas, like how many of us now are sitting at home on our sofas binging on Netflix and Hulu, right? Because mm. we've got that stay at home yep. order. Um, and this really significantly impacts the alignment and our posture. And, and this unnatural habit of sitting down all day does a lot of damage to our spine and our posture. You know, you know, like I said, whether you're hunched over your computer or, you know, you're spending hours unsupported on the sofa, it's really bad news. And additionally, the increasing use of our smart devices, right, where we're down and we're moving our head forward, right? We actually, it, we call it text neck or forward head posture is more, it is. <laughs> more, uh, more medically correct, I guess. You know, and there's really, there's been several studies done on this that reveal that every inch that your head is misaligned looking down, your neck, bears an additional 10 pounds of stress. So for many, right, this is an extra 20 or 30 pounds of pressure on your neck, right? And you know, watch these kids walking around, right? They look like Lurch, right, from the Adams family. That's where he was from, right? If, I, if that's wrong, I apologize. Yeah. Um, you know, so posture is so vital, um, not just to spinal health, but to overall health, right? When something is misaligned, it really can negatively impact the other areas of our body and apply pressure to our internal organs, right? Mm -hmm. So like the little old ladies and old men that are all hunched over, right? Their thoracic cavity is now smaller, right? So their lungs and their heart are kind of getting compressed, you know? So, you know, back pain aside, let's really move on and look at some of those other ailments that are connecting, connecting, that are correcting, that correcting our posture can really significantly improve. All right, so the first thing we're gonna look at is the atlas adjustments. Um, when <laughs> Let's first explain yeah. why the picture looks funky. So when we got a hold of this PowerPoint, it had a picture of a guy using a therapeutic ultrasound device on someone's shoulder. Mm -hmm. And um, I guess they thought that was an atlas adjustment, which is not. No. Um, so I went ahead and put a new picture on top of it, which shows um, a chiropractor adjusting some of the atlas yes. and your atlas is going to be the top bone of your whole entire spine, mm -hmm. the top bone of your cervical spine, which is your neck. Um, and so when we adjust that bone, the atlas, um, that adjustment has been the subject of a lot of different studies, um, which concerns lowering blood pressure. So, so studies have found that misaligned, the misaligned atlas is often exhibited in patients diagnosed with high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. A Chicago area study of 50 individuals found that following just one atlas adjustment blood pressure, wait, following just one atlas adjustment, um, the blood pressure decreased significantly in these patients. And um, the decrease was observed to be equal to taking two different blood pressure drugs at once, mm -hmm. which is insane. That's incredibly significant. Um, and then chiropractic care can be useful in helping people who want to avoid the side effects mm -hmm. of drug therapy for treating high blood pressure. So that's a really awesome reason to go, well, go to a chiropractor. You know, and today, right, because one of the side effects is a cough. Mm -hmm. Right? And nobody wants to be around anybody that's coughing, and it could just be a side effect from their drug. Yeah. Um, so... Also, atlas adjustments and um, adjustments of the other parts of the cervical spine, so our neck too, um, can really help to alleviate certain kinds of headaches as well. So having any of these joints in our neck being out of alignment can actually pull the muscles that are attached to these, these bones in uncomfortable directions. And all of that going, you know, being put together can lead to tension headaches and it is not fun. I'm going through that right now. <laughs> I think I'll be adjusting Dr. Sarah before we leave today. <laughs> oh, 
Yeah, you know, here in St. Louis, I think it's, we're probably not unique to this, right? But a lot of us have chronic sinusitis, right? We had a patient last night who keeps getting sinus infection after mm -hmm. sinus infection. And, you know, she was trying to be with a friend at social distancing, but they kind of gave her the evil eye. So she just kind of went home. And, yeah. you know, it, it may surprise a lot of you to hear that, you know, chiropractic adjustments can help with the sinus symptoms, right? Adjustments in a lot of the adjunct therapies, right? We have some cranial work that we can do and there's pressure points, right? Um, that target the bones that make up our sinuses and those mucous membranes that line the cavities you know, in the forehead, between the eyes, behind the nasal cavities, really decreases the symptoms, right? The congestion, the mm -hmm. drainage, um, and, you know, and there's a number of techniques that Dr. Sarah and I both implement to help alleviate that discomfort, right? Some of them are trigger point therapy, some of it's light force, cranial stuff, you know, and, and it can be very common. All you have to do is ask when you're at your chiropractor or when you're here with us, and we'll be more than happy to help. So some other conditions that we see um, are going to be conditions related to inner ear imbalances like tinnitus and vertigo. And these can be improved with the atlas adjustment that we talked about before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and other kinds of adjustments. As Absolutely. Well. Yeah. Um, so the atlas, that top bone in our neck, it allows our head to perform forward and backward movements like this. Mm -hmm. Like nodding the head, yes. Um, and then the <laughs> next vertebra down is called our axis, and that allows us to rotate left and right mm -hmm. to shake our head no. So these two vertebrae are the two most freely movable vertebrae. Mm -hmm. And um, as a result of that, they're the ones that are most common and easiest to be misaligned. Yeah. Um, misalignment of those can put pressure on the base of our brain stem, which um, leads to an accumulate, accumulation of fluid in our inner ear, and that can affect hearing loss, tinnitus, and vertigo. Yeah, and you know, what I just remembered too, with, with you hearing you speak, you know, this we see a lot of our kiddos that have ear infections, mm -hmm. right? And these sure. this is where the misalignments occur, right? You know, being born is very traumatic. You know, and it's very easy for those bones to rotate and get stuck one way or another. You know, like we even see babies have trouble that let latching on mm -hmm. during nursing that have, you know, upper cervical, right? Atlas and axis, we call them the upper cervical because they're in the top. Um, subluxations, which is a term we've not used yet, but mm -hmm. misalignments is another word for it um, in that area. In fact, we even had a patient tonight that yeah. came in with mm -hmm. some vertigo and uh, we adjusted our atlas and it was a beautiful adjustment. So we're going to wait and see and see if her symptoms reduce. Oh, yay, right? Premenstrual discomfort. How many women have this? Raise your hand. Me, right? Absolutely. You know, so we all know, right? Symptoms include bloating, irritability, headaches, right? I call myself the Godzilla mom. Um, I always know a day ahead because I get really angry and grumpy. Um, breast tenderness, fatigue, you know, cramping, back pain, nausea, some weight gain even sometimes. And what's really cool is, is we as chiropractors have done research on this. There's an article in the Journal of Manipulative and Physiological Therapeutics that really concludes that, that with a highly rel relative high incidence of spinal dysfunction exists in patients with PMS, right? Compared to a comparable group of non PMS sufferers. And we really find that it's in the lower spine and in the pelvis yeah. that um, when we get those things realigned that, you know, PMS symptoms definitely reduce, right? Um, you know, we said it earlier, your nerve system communicates via all the nerves to all the body parts, including the reproductive organs and the reproductive organs make hormones. And so if we can really balance out that pelvis and that lumbar spine, then we get better communication between the brain, the body, all those organs that make hormones. And you know, and the symptoms don't have to be nearly as severe or they could go away completely. All right, so pregnancy. I had a few um, <laughs> yeah, Maybe you should do this one. <laughs> uh, so pregnancy is a very delicate time, um, and it's also a time that's it's really important that drug intervention should be limited. 
Um, and because of this, drug-free alternatives like chiropractic care are really ideal mm -hmm. to help lessen the pain and promote overall health and an optimal and free-flowing environment for the baby to develop. Um, so there are a few different benefits of chiropractic care during pregnancy, and these are just in general maintaining a healthier pregnancy, mm -hmm. um, controlling symptoms of nausea, reducing the time of labor and delivery, which I think a lot of ladies... Yes, we like that one. We like shorter labors that. and deliveries. <laughs> um, and then just relieving back, neck, or joint pain that these ladies are experiencing and um, even preventing a potential cesarean delivery. Yeah, and you know, in that one, when people think about, well, how could it prevent a cesarean delivery? Well, if you think about it, it really boils down to the balance of the pelvis and that pelvic outlet, mm -hmm. right? So if, yeah. if your hips are unlevel, that's gonna distort where the baby comes out and can make it smaller, where now the baby gets stuck, and now you have to go for cesarean delivery. Whereas if your pelvis is balanced because you've been under chiropractic care, that pelvic outlet now is wide mm -hmm. and the baby can descend and exit very easily. Um, all right, so attention deficit hyperactivity disorder. Oh, this one affects so many families and so many families feel a loss of power and a loss of hope. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't necessarily want to put their kids on the meds because it makes them zombies. Right. Or, you know, they can they can't let them run crazy either. So, you know, this is where as holistic, natural, drug free healthcare practitioners, we can really shine. You know, um, according to the International Chiropractic Pediatric Association, many people have reported that chiropractic care helped them and their children manage the symptoms of ADHD. Right, ADHD is a brain-based condition, right? Neural signals flow between the brain and the body, again, via the spinal cord, right? So therefore, any misalignment along that spine can negatively impact the nerves and the nerve function, right? And restoring alignment and removing pressure from the nerve system enables that signaling to function better, which is a lot, which is what allows some of the symptoms to decrease. Now, ADHD is also multifactorial right? It's not just one thing. And as holistic practitioners, we really have access to diet and nutrition um, and other things to help support these kiddos mm -hmm. to really just be themselves and yeah. be free and, and thrive in any environment. We love taking care of these kiddos. All right. Mm. So with this one here, um, you might be thinking, aren't anxiety, depression, and stress considered to be mental conditions? Um, so they are, and they're also related to the nervous system. So if we alleviate the physical pain that's caused by misalignments, this can actually help to improve overall quality of life for people, and that can help improve mental health. Mm -hmm. um, and chiropractic adjustments also increase brain activity and they restore balance to the nervous system. Um, and chiropractic care works best when it's combined with the healthy, with healthy lifestyle choices. So put all of this together, just living as healthy as you can. Mm -hmm. And, you know, ultimately you get more balanced in these right. things like anxiety and depression can yeah. just melt away. Yeah. And we've got a slide, I don't know if it's the next one or one later down where we're talking about the digestive system, right? Mm -hmm. And how it connects right back to this. So we're gonna connect some more dots here in just yeah. a little bit. Oh, you know, this was one of my, um, probably one of my first, I guess we could call it success stories when I graduated almost, you know, 24 years ago, I had a cousin who had very bad asthma and my aunt brought her in to get adjusted. And within a couple of adjustments, 90% of her asthma symptoms were gone. Wow. Yeah. Right. You know, and, and honestly, there's been several studies that, sh that really explored the connection between the spinal adjustments and improvement in asthma symptoms. Really, we're looking at your mid back now right? We call it your thoracic spine. Um, when we realign that area, right, the nerves that then go to the lungs and to the brain and back can transmit messages better. And additionally, we can get the ribs, right, mm -hmm. floating through their motion better, which allows for expansion. You know, it's so often when you have asthma, everything's constricted and tight. 
and then you try to take a breath and you can't, but we get those ribs opened up, yep. you know, and that thoracic cavity is really free to expand as it should. Right. There it is. Yeah, so here we are with the digestive system. Nice. Um, so the digestive system is linked to our nervous system, just like every other system in the uh -huh. body, right. as you've been right. saying. Um, and it's linked at the upper cervical spine, mm -hmm. the mid-back, and the lumbar spine, which is our low back. Um, so if you suffer from chronic heartburn, um, diarrhea, constipation, irritable bowel syndrome, or any other digestive problems, um, chiropractic care can actually aid in restoring the balance of your digestive system. Mm -hmm. Um, so this is what, uh, I hinted to hinting at. Yeah. So we have a thing in our body called the gut brain axis. And this is the connection between the central nervous system, which is located in the brain, and the enteric nervous system, which is located actually in the digestive system. And communication between these two goes both ways. And the gut has even been called our second brain because of how important its functions are to keep our whole body running the, the way that it should. Mm -hmm. um, so... These roles of the gut include making important hormones, um, housing 70% of our immune system, yeah. which is wild, mm -hmm. uh, maintaining a healthy microbiota, and playing a huge role in our sympathetic nervous system, which is the part of our nervous system that's in charge of whether we're panicked or relaxed, so that fight or flight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, so... Keeping a strong connection between our brain and our gut is just so important. Yeah. And regular chiropractic adjustments can help to make sure that this connection is staying, is staying as strong as possible. Yeah, exactly. So over-the-counter medications might provide some relief with these um, GI problems, uh, like digestive problems, but they're really not treating the underlying cause of your digestive issues. So you're just going to be in this never-ending cycle of just trying to manage your problem with no cure yeah. when us as chiropractors, right. we really try to get down mm -hmm. to the root right. of the problem. Exactly. That's a, yeah, And that's our purpose is to find the root cause, mm -hmm. right? That Absolutely. way you can actually get well. Ooh, yeah. How about this one? So managing diabetes. This, you know, when we were doing the research for this one, this one was really cool. Um, so how many of you know someone who's diabetic or maybe you're even diabetic yourself, right? And I see this in the patients that I take care of that are diabetic, right? That um, it's really widely accepted that we are one of the main treatments, and I don't like that word necessarily, yeah. um, for uh, diabetic patients, right? The pancreas, right, produces enzymes that help us digest proteins, fats, carbohydrates, right? It also makes insulin. And the nerve supply in your upper back and your middle back are directly related to the function of your pancreas. So as you can imagine, any kind of spinal misalignment up there is going to diminish the function of that pancreas, thus driving that inflammatory diabetic process, right? And there was a study done in the Journal of Vertebral Subluxation Research, and it showed that when chiropractic care was used as a treatment, for adult onset diabetes, along with nutrition and exercise, the patient's glucose and blood urine levels normalized and remained stabilized after just one month of treatment. And additionally, recent studies have shown that type 2 diabetes may also be linked to the nervous system function. Now. Yeah. All right. So here I'm going to go over what some other people are saying about chiropractic. What are other people saying what about chiropractic, saying? Dr. Sear? What and are they you saying? Might, you might recognize these names. We hope so. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Christy Brinkley said, chiropractic makes me feel a few inches taller every time I come out. I don't know how tall she is, but I would imagine that would I be think really she's tall. she's pretty tall. I mean, she's a model. <laughs> right. <laughs> Cher <laughs> says, Thank God I have a good chiropractor. I wish I never introduced him to Madonna and Janet and Tina. Now I have to share him. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger said, oh, I, I should, I was going to say I could do an Arnold impression. Can you impression, do an Arnold impression? I'm not going to go for it. 
<laughs> Maybe next time. <laughs> well, he said, chiropractors are miracle workers. Um, Montel Williams, who suffers from multiple scler sclerosis, actually MS, um, he said that chiropractic is the most amazing thing that has ever happened to him. Mm -hmm. And Cindy Crawford said, once we had Presley and Kaya, it was only natural to have regular chiropractic checkups after they were born and go for regular checkups to keep them healthy. Yeah. And we have a lot of... We um, do take care of a lot of the kids. Chi yeah, chiropractic families mm -hmm. that come in here. Yeah. Um, George Kennedy said, a chiropractor accomplished in three weeks what the army doctors haven't been able to do in two years. Mm, it's amazing. I hear that all the time. You know, their medical doctors have failed them. And within a few weeks, we've got them up and moving. It's great. And lastly, John Robbins said, chiropractic works in harmony with the basic healing forces of the body. Whereas the allopathic Western medicine establishment, medical establishment, doesn't have nearly as holistic of a vision. It's true. No. All right. So one of my favorite things to talk about is what causes these spinal misalignments, right? And really there's countless reasons, but some of the most common ones are, you know, a slip and a fall or even a slip without falling where you jar yourself to try mm -hmm. to catch yourself, right? We've talked about it, poor posture, right? Um, if you've got a swollen joint, right, that's going to cause some misalignment. Um, inflammatory responses, right? Poor diet, right? We're eating McDonald's and Wendy's and drive throughs mm -hmm. you know, a bazillion times a day. The lack of pure, clean water, right? Bottled water is acidic, pro-inflammatory, and full of cancer-causing chemicals. Um, what about, and psychological stress, right? Right now, we're in a time of more stress than we have had in a really long time. And and all of that causes tight muscles that can pull joints out of alignment um, and cause all I sorts of... that's what's going on. Yeah. Now. <laughs> and create like imbalanced hormones and things like that, right? Osteoporosis, right? Degenerative changes in the spine or even dehydration of those intervertebral discs, which are those little pads that live between the bones that keep the bones from rubbing on one another. Uh, trigger points, right? How many of you have knots in your shoulders, right? Or even tight muscles that pull those vertebrae out of place. Or just some of the few. Birth, right? Giving birth, being born. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So chiropractic care aims to work hand in hand with many other medical care practices. Um, so being in, in communication with your medical doctors uh, can create seamless care and then you get the best of both worlds. So it's a really awesome thing when a chiropractor can actually have that kind of almost referral um, mm -hmm. relationship with yeah. an MD. And so being under regular chiropractic care can relieve the burden on your medical team as well because if, like we said, we're starting to get these people feeling better in yeah. three weeks, they won't have to keep going to right. their doctor for two and years straight. Exactly. Well, and, you know, and it allows for the medical team to really take care of those emergent patients, mm -hmm. you know, those life-saving procedures or something along those lines where, you know, if you've got pain or you've got an upset tummy or you've got a headache, right, we're really the best line of defense yeah. and allowing the medical community to do what they are best at. Now, yeah. that's where we get to bridge that gap. All right, so you know what? Let's let's move a new way forward, right? And and it's it's so relevant in these times where you know we're we've hit pause, right? We're creating this reset. We're talking about getting back to normal, mm -hmm. right? Well, do we really want to get back to normal, or do we really want to find what's new? What's the new yeah. normal? The new way forward, right? And as chiropractors, our goal is to partner with our patients, right? And offer them the highest level of personalized care, Absolutely. right? We understand the healthcare landscape that's changing and it's changing on a daily basis right now, right? Mm -hmm. And people are looking for more holistic methods in order to take care of and account for what their body is doing rather than, well, I there's something wrong with my heart. So I got to go see the heart doctor, right? Or there's something wrong with my kidney. I got to go see the kidney doctor, right? We're going to look at you as chiropractors as a whole person, right? Mind, body, spirit. And we, we really pride ourselves in offering this non-invasive and drug-free approach. Okay. 
So that's basically all the information mm -hmm. that we have to present to you guys tonight. Um, we have a list of references. As always. Um, <laughs> if you want them. So, yeah, if you want to know which um, websites and stuff were put or, you know, came together to make this presentation, you can let us know and we'll get that sent your way. Yeah, for sure. You know, and hey, you made it. Yay! Mm -hmm. We're at the end. And, you know, again, you know, I just I really want to thank you all for being here. You had lots of choices in what to do with your time tonight and you chose it to spend with us. And we're very honored that you did that. So thank you very much. We know we've covered a lot of information, you know, so please feel free to contact us with any questions that come up as you continue to process everything, you know, and you know, the most important takeaway point is that, you know, we believe everyone can benefit from chiropractic care and it is much more than just low back pain, neck pain and headaches. And, you know, whether you're interested in improving your health, right, or alleviating some current symptoms, right, we're here to help. Yes, we are. We are. All right. So thanks again, you guys. Shoot us any questions you might have, and we'll see you next week for inflammation. inflammation. Yeah. yeah. What you need to know all about inflammation. So it's Thursday. Oh, wait. No, it's two Tuesday. Weeks. Two weeks. Sorry, that's right. So <laughs> we are switching up. We're going to be happening on Tuesday evenings at 6 o'clock. So we're going to wait till the 21st mm -hmm. um, will be our next class and everything you need to know about inflammation. We'll see you there. Bye.